All right, 6.2, inertial reference frame. So we've been seeing that you've got, uh, if an object is moving, we can measure its motion, its momentum, and eventually we'll look at kinetic energy from the Earth reference frame. Okay? Or we can measure this object's motion from another reference frame that might be moving, it might be stationary. Okay? Now, <coughs> um, we want to look at something called inertial reference frames. The Earth reference frame, or any reference frame moving at a constant velocity relative to Earth, is called an inertial reference frame. Inertial, non-accelerating reference frame. Okay? So, we'll get to uh, some nice pictures now that will help us. In an inertial reference frame, any isolated object, what does this mean? That's packed, packed with information. An isolated object that is at rest, remains at rest, and any isolated object in motion keeps moving at a constant velocity. I'm going to repeat this. In an inertial reference frame, how do you know if you're in an inertial reference frame? An isolated object that's at rest, remains at rest, or an isolated object in motion keeps moving at a constant velocity. Let's spend a bit of time here. This is very important. Guys, remember if you've got a single object and it's moving at some constant velocity and it's isolated. What does isolated mean? Isolated means there's no momentum transfer across the boundary. What does that mean? It means that your change in momentum, delta PV, which is um, MV final minus MV initial, your delta V, your V doesn't change. Its velocity stays the same. Okay? This is an isolated object. So if you're in an inertial reference frame, then an isolated object should its velocity should stay the same either it goes at a constant velocity or it stays at rest okay so that's the important thing to note there okay in an inertial reference frame an isolated object obeys what we've always seen the law of inertia does not hold um let's see I see, I haven't, I was meant to read this. We can tell whether or not a reference frame is inertial by testing whether the law of inertia holds. Okay, this is the law of inertia. The law of inertia does not hold in a reference frame that is accelerating relative to Earth. Okay, so now let's, let's look at some pictures. I like pictures. So say now you're sitting on the Earth. Your reference frame is Earth. We know that Earth is a, an inertial reference frame. So when we are in an inertial reference frame, or how do we know we're in an inertial reference frame? We need to look at what happens to an isolated system and a non-isolated system. Here is an isolated system. There's a cart. It's isolated, meaning there's no interactions from outside. And its velocity is zero. So the velocity of cart 2 relative to E, which is Earth, is zero. Good. So it is obeying what we expect for an isolated system. It is not accelerating. What about an object that is interacting with its environment? Well, because it's in interacting with its environment, momentum is transferred, so there is an acceleration. So both of these obey what we expect for an isolated system and a non-isolated system. That means that we are in an inertial reference frame. Now, let's liven things up a bit. Say now this same person goes and sits on this cart and moves with cart 1. So we know that cart 1 is accelerating in this reference frame. So now, if you are sitting on this cart you move with this cart so 
the relative ve the velocity of cart 1 relative to u m is now 0 okay and the ex and the motion of cart 2 is that it is accelerating in this direction so now um, this is an isolated system and this is a non-isolated system so if you're in an inertial reference frame this isolated system should have no acceleration it should have a constant velocity and this non-isolated system should have an acceleration but you're you're measuring a zero acceleration for this and you're measuring an acceleration for this so in this case you're in a non inertial reference frame basically you are in an accelerating reference frame and here you are in a non accelerating reference frame so if you are moving at any constant velocity okay then these two should always hold whatever constant velocity you're moving at whether it's zero or 10 meters per second, 100 meters per second, an isolated system shows that the velocity remains constant, and an, for a non-isolated system, it, there is an acceleration. However, if you're moving at a non-inertial, if you're accelerating, then isolated systems show an acceleration, and um, accelerating system will show this constant velocity if you're on this. Okay? I hope you this makes sense. Cheers.